Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the send method and how that works with generator functions. What the send method does is allows us to send a value to that generator function while it's while it is in process, if you will. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. First thing I want to do is just create a simple function. So we're just going to define math, all right? And we're not going to pass any arguments. We're going to say for i in range, and we'll say 20, just like this. And then we're going to just say x is equal to yield uh, i. All right, we're just going to return what i is. And it should count uh, 0, 1, 2, all the way up. All the way up. So in the range, print x like that. And then we're just going to do d which is going to uh, represent our function call. So math is like that. And then we're going to say next D. We all, we've seen this before, all right? Next D. Uh-oh. What is none? You may be wondering, what is none? Well, none is descent call. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. We're going to create another function. Math. And then we're going to say for i in range of 20. And then we're going to say uh, x is equal to yield uh, i. And then we're going to print uh, sent and format it. Close out a string, format. And we're going to pass x in here. And then we're going to come down and do d to represent our function call, d math. And then we're going to say next d, we get 0. And then we're going to say next d, and we get sent none. All right, we sent none to this generator function, but we get 1. Now if I do d and then a method call, so I'm going to say uh, send, and I'm going to send 60, whoops, 6. I'm going to hit 66. There we go. And we sent 66 up here. Now x is now representing 60. Six. All right. What is happening is yield ignores the um, the the variable here and returns i as well. Okay. So we can take a look at this um, in another in, in another way. So we can do um, let's create one more function. Let's say define math. All right. And we'll actually do some math this time. For i in range of 20, we're going to go ahead and do uh, x is equal to yield i. All right, we'll just keep it like that. And then we're going to say print, oops, print x plus i. All right. And then we'll say uh, d and call our function our generate function again and we'll say next uh, next D and then we'll do next D again and we get an R non type and int okay well we can't add a non type and an integer but if we did send uh, D send 66 we got stop iteration well, why did we get stop iteration? Well, we didn't actually, since we started next, and then we got error that stopped the iteration. So let's go ahead and do this all, all one more time. So let's do D equals math, just to, not math, just to check it, and do next D, all right? And now we're gonna do D send, and we're gonna send um, 66, and now we get 66 and one. So I hope you guys understand what just happened here. Now let's break this down one more time so you guys understand. All right, so we create our function up here and we come down, we pass math, uh, we call our math function and D's represent that. We're, then we're saying, give us the next D iteration, we get zero. And then we say, give us the next D iteration and we get unsupported um, orphan type for plus non-type plus int. Well, we didn't pass a value up here for x. So it's saying uh, 
we have none and we can't add none to an integer okay so we come down we restarted the, the iteration for the generator function right here by calling our function with d and we said next d and then we pass d dot send all right so we're sending an integer of 66 now that would replace this none type here and we got int plus int we get a value all right now if i do if I do uh, D send 66 again, I get 67 plus 2. Now you may be wondering, what? Well, remember, up here we're taking I, which is the range of 20, and we're adding it to X, okay? So now we have 1, that was our iterator, and we passed 66, now we got 67. Now it's returning 62 to us. Now if I call this again, we get 68 and three all right so the the um the math right here <laughs> you know you think well this should be two but we actually start the iteration a little early all right now if you're using the send method on a generator function you must initiate the function before you um send a value so let's take a look at that real quick I know this tutorial is getting a little long, but we're going to say define f, all right? And we're just going to say x is equal to yield, I think this will work, and then print x like that, and we'll say b is equal to f, the function call, and then we'll say uh, b.send. Uh, five we get an error can't send non-type value to just start it generator so if we did uh, b dot send uh, none oops b dot send none like that the local variable x is referenced before assignment oh crap I'm sorry Let's rewrite that function real quick. Define f, and we'll def x is equal to um, yield, and then print x. I think that'll work. So we'll do b is equal to f, call that, and then we'll do um, b dot send uh, none. And then we can do b dot send five. There you go. All right. So what happened there? Well, first off, I screwed up because I put x on the far right of yield. Uh, that wouldn't work if I thought about it. But I'm just you know going off the top of my head right now. So we created a function. X is representing yield, and then we print x, which is a yield now a yield expression so we call uh the f function with b and then we use b to send none which will start the um the generator if we do not send none first or use the next um uh meth or uh, function the next function will actually start the generator as well uh so we either send none or use the next and then we can send values so b dot send Five. All right. So that is the next uh, method in Python. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.